Hey, Doc. You, uh, you got a second? I am very busy right now, Dempsey. Can it wait? Uh, not really. <sighs> very well. Take a seat, Dempsey. I'll be with you shortly. <sighs> now, what is it you wanted to see me for? I recently got some news that somebody I know knows kind of close to me died. <sighs> Dempsey, you should be very used to death by now. Why would you come to me for something so mundane? Look, I, I haven't really been in a good state of mind since I literally had to kill myself, alright? I figured you'd be a bit more understanding considering you had to do the same, right? Forget I asked. I'll go. Wait. I am not the easiest person to work with. I know that. And I know that you must be feeling very vulnerable if you're coming to me, of all people, for help. But unfortunately, I am not that kind of doctor. However, I do understand how you are feeling. More than you know. I know none of you ever wanted any of this. And I am sorry. I am sorry that you had to watch yourself die. And I am sorry about your friend. If there is anything like this that you would like to talk to me about, my door is always open. It is the least I can do. Thank you, Richtofen. That... that actually really means a lot. I know I couldn't be caught dead talking about this sappy shit in front of the others. I, I didn't want anyone to think I was losing the stomach for this saving the world stuff, but... You know, sometimes I just don't feel like my head's in the game. I really needed to hear that. So thank you. If you don't mind me asking, what did your friend die of? Uh, some kind of terminal disease. Uh, I, I can't wrap my head around the medical jargon, but apparently it was enough to kill him. Do you know what it was called? Uh, yeah, it was, uh, it was called Ligma. Ligma. I'm afraid I'm not familiar with that disease. Ligma balls. Well, 